that you have the story of Sayyidina Jafar ibn Abi Talib, eventually known as Sayyidina Jafar al Tayyar, radiallahu anhu, that there was a battle that the Prophet sent them on an expedition, the Battle of Muta' in, in the area of Jordan. And the Prophet and many of the Sahaba are still in Medina. And in the narration, it comes that Sayyidina Jafar, he was bearing the standard. He, was bearing the, he had the standard in his right hand. So he's fighting this battle, he's bearing the standard, and then what happens? His hand gets cut off. His right hand gets cut off. His arm, rather. He moves it over to the left hand. He doesn't stop fighting. He keeps going. He's still fighting the kuffar. He keeps going. He has the standard now in his left hand. Next thing what happens? His left hand is cut off. His left arm is cut off. He's still fighting valiantly, sacrificing himself, doing what he can, because he has this internal reality that I need to spread this deen. His left hand gets cut off, what does he do? He holds it up in between his, his arms, whatever he has left of his arms, until he can't do it anymore. And then he's wounded, severely wounded. The Sahaba, they take the standard from him, they pull him to the side. They count 80 wounds all on the front of his body from swords, from spears, from arrows. No wound on his backside. Why? Because he never turned around. He kept going. No matter what, he said, I'm, this is it. I'm going for it. He sacrificed everything. Imagine 80 wounds. This was, and this was like real, real, real battle. This wasn't gunshots and, and, and drone strikes. No, these people were fighting with their, with their swords, with their spears, right in their faces. 80 wounds they count. They offered him water. He said, drink some water, O Jafar. What does he say? I'm fasting. I'm, I'm not going to drink water. I'm fasting. He says, I hope to break my fast in paradise. And that's exactly what happens. That at the time, the Prophet Islam is sitting in Medina Manora. And the Sahaba who are there, they see the Prophet Islam say, Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And he, then he starts to begin speaking to somebody. And they're not understanding what's going on. After the gathering, they ask him, Ya Rasulullah, who are you speaking to? He said, that was Jafar ibn Abi Talib, who was in front of me with a group of angels. Allah replaced his arms with two wings, with which he can fly with wherever he wants in paradise. And he came, where he was in paradise, who did he come to visit? Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu Because of his love for the Prophet He came and he visited the Prophet sallallahu and the Prophet saw him, so he became known after that as Jafar al-Qayyam. Look at what these people did. They sacrificed everything for us and they did not do this so we could just sit around. That's not the purpose of our life. 